Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video today. I have an important message for you. So we will be talking about this present phase, what we are moving through and what we need to know at this point. So, so much is coming up and so many different emotional experiences may be intensified right now. So many people are writing in the comments and I see all of you, my friends, I'm receiving messages about feeling intensified emotions, which are kind of kind of uh, pulling us back into our past. So we would discover something which was kind of unconscious before. So if there is a possibility to see or find a greater meaning in why those things happened, because life is all about experiences, right? We are moving through experiences. But if we're not aware and conscious enough as we are moving through experiences, it's like we would be kind of walking blindly or like we would be kind of walking in sleep. And it's actually about waking us up right now. It's like a wake up call to recognize why you're moving through this kind of experiences and what can you learn in this kind of experiences, right? So I want to give you this important update because remember what Bruce Lee said. Bruce Lee said, do not pray for an easy life. Pray for the strength to endure a difficult one. So life on earth is not an easy one, right? And we may all find it out already. It's not an easy one, but as we are gaining strength by finding, you know, all the lessons that life is offering to us, by stepping into the comfort zone, by doing into this discomfort zone, doing things which are also unpleasant and embracing our fears and doing the things we're also afraid of. We may recognize that it's actually a fun process. It's a joyful process. Even doing things which are unpleasant can provide us a great amount of joy because the, the great thing happens once we find a balance between comfort and discomfort, between pleasant sensations and unpleasant sensations, right? And we've been talking about this before. So my friends, today I'm playing for you painting Phoenix. The Phoenix is rising. You've seen this painting before, but I wanted to put it into this video today because that's how we may feel right now. We may feel like a Phoenix rising from the ashes of our challenges and painful experiences. A phoenix is like a bird. It's a beautiful story which represents a second birth. A second birth after you will you were burned down. Second birth after you were completely destroyed. And you know, as we are uh, moving through that process of a second birth, we may find moments of reflection right moments of reflection of what put us down what burned us but as we are moving through that second birth we may recognize that whatever tried to destroy us actually build us build that 2.0 version of ourselves because we can't be destroyed we can only be transcendent we can only transform. As energy can be destroyed, it can only change its forms. That's what is happening right now, my friend. You're transforming, you're transcending your challenges into a mission. You're transcending pain into a process. You're transcending suffering into a path of enlightenment. You're transcending what was holding you back before into an ability to help somebody to get back up. Because whatever was holding you back provided you such an important lessons and realizations, which will help you, if not now, later in life, to help somebody to move through it as well. 
because we are all here united which means it, it actually doesn't mean that we should be as one all the time but it means that what we learn at some point will be able to help somebody to to um, get to that point as well which means that we are here to help one another and we may find that mission in so many different unique ways so there is no um like it's not about giving you an advice what you can do right now but more like a finding out for yourself where your life is leading you but i want to remind you to uh, to not trust the opinions of yourself when you, you are in lower emotions right now this is uh, an important reminder because you know so often we may fall into the slower emotions and then we start describing ourselves from this emotional states we we start uh, labeling ourselves from this lower emotional states but don't create assumptions and labels and opinions when you are in lower states because you know your mind may trick you because it is influenced by that lower energy this energy is cleansing and allow it to be released my friends let it be released right now let it dissolve so you can fully embrace more of who you truly are and another reminder is that liberation <laughs> liberation is hidden in your heart my friends but you may be living too much in your mind that's why you're not free so again it's an illusion our mind can trick us to to feel kind of limited but we're only limited as much as we think we are limited so as we are slowly expanding that point of perspective we may recognize that actually we are much more than that right actually we are much more than that and again remember what ralph waldo emerson said he said what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us and again this is to me so so important because you know so often we may fall into that idea of our mind of uh, who we are and what we did in the past and whatever we did in the past may define us in the present moment of and of course we are the product of our past but still at the same time we have an opportunity right at this moment to redefine ourselves to break these patterns and to design new ones by work on that self-awareness by deep introspection to fully become aware of what is happening what is happening right now can you become aware of the sensations can you recognize and identify emotions can you read the energy in your body and the energy in your, your the field around your body can you become more aware of it can you read on what kind of frequency it is on what kind of state it is can you uplift it a little bit can you find a connection between your thoughts and emotions can you find the connection between your past and your feelings right now can you find a connection between your past and your future can you recognize how much your past is affecting on your future can you recognize how much your behaviors are affected by your past because this is a deep introspection and that's where we may recognize that doesn't matter how much we've been affected by whatever is happening around us and whatever happened in the past and whatever may happen in the future there's something so powerful in this present moment present within us which we could use to redesign our lives and that is again a moment of self-awareness a moment where we catch ourselves in this present moment 
And we actually ask ourselves, do I still want to be that same version of myself? Is there some space for improvement in that certain aspect of my life about which I'm not really happy right now? Is there a space for improvement in the areas of my life which I want to experience more joy? And again, a moment of introspection. We start observing ourselves. And this is what we need to do right now. Because, you know, as the energies are changing and everything that is happening right now in the world, you know, so many information are coming up and so many people are dealing with this deep unconscious stories, beliefs and paradigms which are slowly changing. We can see a huge shift in science, for example. Science is coming up with so much of new insights and new understandings understandings of our brains, for example, our bodies, biology overall, uh, the science of physics and quantum physics. So much is changing, which means that the story of our past is changing on such a fast pace that it's almost hard to follow what's going on, right? And as the story of our past is changing, we may start questioning like what to believe right now, <laughs> what, what's the truth right now, uh, what it has to do with me, what if my past is kind of false, who I am right now if the stories were not real. Right? And because so much is changing and it's hard to comprehend all of that, it's important to stay grounded and to fully recognize like how we are feeling when all of that is happening because it's impossible to not see that. It's impossible to ignore that. So who am I as a part of that huge transformation? Maybe am I affecting that transformation? What if the changes that you're creating in your field by changing the way you think, changing the way you feel, changing the way you act, may be affecting the changes around you? What if all of us are affecting the changes that are happening around us? And doesn't matter what you believe, it is a great question because uh, we may start wondering, well, if I am truly making some kind of effects on the world, why am I still thinking so negatively about everything? And of course, we've been trained to think that way. We've been trained to, to be alert, to be in that state of um, alertness. What if something goes wrong? What, what if somebody gets hurt? What if there's an end of a certain system happening? What if there's danger behind the corner? And of course, we were trained to, to think like that from ancient times. And those are deeply rooted programs in our nervous system, in our brains. And we are slowly learning to, to not just to control them, but to regulate them, right? we are slowly learning to regulate them. And that's where we tap deeper into our soul and we start using our bodies more like a vehicles uh, rather than victims of um, being a part of all of that. Because you know, nothing is more powerful than a soul on fire. That's what we call deep passion. Soul on fire is the most powerful weapon for change. And as you know what you want in your life, when you know exactly what you want and, and you start doing that with a great degree of joy, you will fall in love in that process of doing that. Like, for example, making art and, or doing something you truly love. And once you fall into that process, you will awaken that great amount of passion, that fire within your soul. And that is the most powerful weapon for change. So don't be afraid of what you may hear on, or what we may see, because the most powerful weapon is within you. And I'm talking about that uh, beautiful transformation 
weapon for change, my friends, for positive change. Become passionate about the life you want to live. And suddenly, what you were wishing for will actually become your path. Because you will suddenly start walking the path of your dreams. And again, it's not an easy path. But it is a truly inspiring path. It is a path of transformation, a path of transcendence from our past limited beliefs and limited stories to fulfilling stories and to more meaningful stories. So don't be afraid to make those changes. And of course, on that path, I want to remind you that um, the simplest assistance you need are your intentions. This is something that uh, we often forget because when we fall into the slower emotional states again, that lower energy, we may feel lost. And when we feel lost, we actually have guidance within us and our intentions will activate that guidance. So a simple advice for all of you right now is to use your intentions for the assistance on your path. And be conscious of your intentions, because actually you're using them all the time. Affirmations, you're using them all the time. How you're talking to yourself, how you're talking to others, how you're thinking about yourself, about the world, about the universe, God, whatever. Those are all the intentions. So think about how could you use them more consciously. Because <laughs> so much may change, right? And I want to leave you here, my friend. So I hope you've enjoyed today's message. I hope you've enjoyed today's painting. And I'm sending you all lots of love, blessings and power, my friends. Thanks to all of you for supporting my art in my Etsy shop. You're all truly appreciated. Till next time, one love.